Hello everyone, welcome to another one of my Future Creator Signature Series, all about companies meeting their business model expiry dates and what can be done about this. This seminar is Why Samsung is Not Creating the Future, and I'm going to show you this on two simple slides. These two are all you need to know about why Samsung cannot create the future no matter what it does. These are two very large mistakes. You do not want to make them. First, Samsung does not map onto this. This is the Apple map. What you see here is Apple's very sensible and simple cloud-based platform that allows it to integrate a whole series of devices anywhere in the world that it wants in a group of markets that increases in size by orders of magnitude from the PC market through to the phone and smart TV market around to the automotive market. Not only that, Apple has the additional ability, because it has the cloud, of doing this. Apple can port almost an unlimited amount of content of whatever value it wants onto all of these devices, and this content can be third-party, as it is with today's App Store, or it can convert itself into a Netflix on steroids and move its own content, and it has more than enough cash in the bank to exercise any option it want in any of these markets at any time. But if you think this is the only thing that Samsung has done wrong, and it's number one and top big mistake, that's not right. I'm going to show you the next slide that should frighten the whatevers out of just about every manager on the planet. Here you see it. Samsung's ecosystem is simply not fast enough. You can see that it compares well with a laggard like Panasonic, and uh, that's great, I suppose, except that Panasonic is really not uh, considered a great star in the industrial space. Uh, when you look at Apple, you can see that their ecosystem velocities came apart in 2004. That's 10 years ago. And uh, since then, Samsung has been slowly uh, declining with respect to Apple, and today there's a very large gap between them. So when you combine these two factors, an inability to use cloud-based platform integration, and uh, an ecosystem that's simply much too slow to be competitive, you have the two factors that will keep Samsung from creating the future. And that is really the essence of the whole thing. Make sure you do not make these mistakes. This really writes the end of, uh, Panasonic, of uh, Samsung's business model. It shows it has a definite expiry date. And uh, management has to act. And so far, of course, we see no indication that it is acting on this. Now, I've been future proofing companies since 1976. Um, you probably have a business model expiry date you're a little worried about yourself. Email me. My address is right here. I'm easy to get a hold of. And let's move forward to future proof your company. Thank you.